Saudi Daisy police are hearing that dozens of small investors may have lost their life savings due to the actions of a small tax and investment business. Police won't provide details, so it's unclear whether the actions of the business amounted to criminal behavior. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin has been following this story today. Good evening, Jerry. Well, Captain Latricia, police in Saudi Daisy are getting aid from federal authorities and no one at any level of law enforcement is actually saying much to us. The information we have comes from clients of the business who are understandably bitter about their losses. The woman you're about to hear blames Jack Brown for losing thousands of dollars left to her by her late husband. Now he has taken advantage of it and I am left with half of what I had before. This victim wants to remain anonymous, but says she invested the money with Brown, a rep for Allianz Life Insurance Investment Company, and the owner of Brown's tax service in Saudi Daisy. Mine is a, just a, a drop in the bucket to what some people have lost. She says Brown told her he filed bankruptcy, so she called the bankruptcy attorney. I talked to uh, them on Wednesday morning, and uh, it was verified that you know, that we had lost what we'd invested. But when we called, the attorney's paralegal denied Brown had filed bankruptcy, but that's all she would say. So we went searching for answers. A note on the door at the tax service blames health reasons as why they're closed. We tried calling Jack Brown, but... Now, we came by the Browns' home today to find out more about what happened. As you can see, the gate is closed and nobody was home. We tried the IRS, but it's their policy to neither confirm nor deny investigations. Meanwhile, Brown's neighbor says she's shocked to hear the allegations. I am. I am because I've never heard anything bad about him. Turner says Jack Brown has been sick for a while which may explain this sign. But the one victim we spoke with says she's sick too. I'll just have to depend on the Lord to look out for me. And we'll bring you all more on this story as it becomes available and let you know if we get a response from Jack Brown or his company. Calvin. Thanks, thanks Jerry. Keep us posted.